And frustrations continue to grow for stranded Southwest passengers. According to Flight Aware, the airline is to blame for more than 90% of cancellations across the U.S. today. Orange County reporter Jessica Denova is live at John Wayne Airport with the very latest. Jessica. That's the case here at John Wayne Airport, also where, according to Flight Aware, 93 of the 95 cancellations are Southwest Airlines flights. And now we're learning more about the stranded luggage. The nightmare of trying to get back home continues for thousands of Southwest Airlines passengers throughout the nation. After three flight cancellations since Christmas Day, Alyssa Serrato has had enough. I just fully canceled everything because they just keep canceling all my flights. And it's not just those flying Southwest. Eyewitness News found stranded passengers at John Wayne Airport flying Frontier and Spirit Airlines. But according to Flight Aware, more than three quarters of those with canceled flights here Wednesday were Southwest Airlines passengers. The airline accounting for more than half of the 4,600 flight cancellations nationwide. The second highest, China Eastern making up 13% of cancellations in the U.S. Cancellations not the only concern. Many passengers are unable to locate their luggage. A San Francisco Chronicle reporter tweeting Tuesday night to Southwest, please tell me you're guarding the stranded luggage because I'm tracking my kid's car seat and today it moved from the STL airport to a random house in Riverview Gardens. The response she shared from Southwest says, we have delayed luggage sectioned off and we require the baggage tag in order to release any items. This week in a video, the Southwest CEO apologizing to those affected, blaming the start of the chaos on the weather, full flight schedule, and extensive presence in top travel markets. Leaders in the industry, including the U.S. Transportation Secretary, calling it a system failure. Representative Adam Schiff in a tweet asking Southwest to fairly compensate passengers, saying, don't be a Scrooge, make this right. Those directly impacted, hoping for the same. I did hear her mention we can book with somebody else, and though then we got to apply for the refund. I had to pay for a brand new flight, um, so they gave me a $200 voucher, but that did not cover the cost of the flight that I had to pay for, and I still don't even know if I'm going to be refunded for that flight. I'm definitely never going to fly Southwest again, so. So just a few minutes ago, I got an email back from Southwest Airlines. They say their team are starting the process of moving the luggage to cargo facilities and will use a partner to mail the luggage back to customers wherever necessary. They ask customers to go online, to come to the airport or call customer service to locate their luggage. But of course, we're hearing from customers those lines, they, they can't get through and they can't get through online either. A lot of them left with no choice but to come to the airport. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.